Hi and welcome to another Computex 2019 video today from Deepcool. Deepcool is very interesting because they have a measurement stand for measuring the pressure inside an AIO because they also solve this problem of the building up pressure. So if you have an AIO or if you have any kind of liquid cooling unit and the temperature is increasing, obviously the things are expanding so the pressure inside the system is increasing significantly. I didn't even know that the pressure was that much. And Deepcool came up with a solution to compensate the pressure to make sure there is no pressure building uh, up inside your AIO. So we will take a look at this thing in a minute. Before we go to that, we will take a look at the Gamex um, uh, liquid cooling series. So that's the entry level AIO cooling series. That's the previous version, the V1. No, oh, actually that's the V2 and that's the V3. But the V2 still had the problem that it was under the ACETEC patent. So the ACETEC has a patent for having um, a liquid cooler that has the cold plate and there's the pump sitting directly on top of it. That's basically the same principle here. So this unit could not be sold, for example, in the US, wherever ACETEC has the patent. And going back to the V3, so the new version of this cooling unit, we have a two-chamber design. So we have the cooling block, then uh, there are water channels on top of it, and then there's a separate um, cooling unit above it. There's a second chamber where the pump is sitting, and it's completely separated. There is like a tube in between, so we basically have a cooling loop inside this block, and this way they can bypass the patent. It's a quite elegant way of doing that. So let's move over to the mid-range cooling units. The Castle series is the mid-range series from Deepcool, but kind of my favorite when it comes to the looks. Again, we have a 240, we have a 360 AIO. It's again a two-chamber design. You can remove this top part. You can see it has a mirror inside, which gives it this very unique and soft look once the cover is attached. Underneath the cover, we have those small plates, different kind of logos, so Avengers, Captain America, I think. If I'm not wrong, is that correct, Mary? Yeah, it's correct. And you can place those in the middle, and depending on your orientation, you can obviously rotate them if you're rotating your AIO. Put it back and give it a unique look. And compared to the previous version of the Castle series, there is also now a ring on the side which is illuminated. And obviously everything has RGB. The Captain series is the high-end series from Deepcool. We have a 240 and we have a 360 radiator. Um, this pump is very unique uh, uh, when it comes to the design. You have this pipe exiting in the middle. And that's what I told you before. This pipe basically simulates an open cooling loop. So we have the cooling unit in the bottom where we have the cold plate and then we have the pump sitting on top and this pipe is connecting the units and therefore kind of simulating, simulating an open loop, therefore bypassing any kind of patent problems. Then we also have the TF120S. The TF120S is a fan from Deepcool. We have a, a two blade design which should increase the airflow in theory. And then we also have those things on here which I thought are somehow for manufacturing process when it comes to injection molding, but it's not. Those are specially measured and also specially produced. So the, the uh, distance between those individual blades is different on all single corners. And that's for noise cancellation. So noise will, will be trapped inside those. And because they have different measurements, they can cancel out different types of sound. So let's simply just take a look at the graphs. So the yellow line is the anti d technology 240 AIO and the teal line is the normal AIO. In this graph we have a time from 0 to 480 seconds. So this is the time. We have the pressure on the left side in kPa. So 16.3 kPa for example that's 160 millibar. On the right side, we have the temperature of the system. You can see with increasing temperature, the pressure inside the system is also increasing. Bottom line is anti-leak, teal line is the normal one. We're starting at about uh, 300 millibar on the anti-leak, ending at about 400 millibar when it comes to 70 degrees Celsius, while the teal line starts at already 400 millibar, ends at about 800 millibar. So the pressure inside the AIO, without anti-leak technology is almost one bar when the temperature is really really high of about 70 degrees celsius obviously that's a temperature you typically don't have inside your aio 
but still when the water is always expanding and shrinking we always have stress to the material stress to the radiator especially so after let's say two or three years and a, a thousand temper temperature cycles it will be or eventually it could be a problem that your AIO starts to leak earlier because of the stress to the material so obviously anti-leak technology can be positive for your system and can be positive for the AIO lifetime. This is showing a normal radiator of the AIO. That's the area where typically the pipes are connected. In the top area we have this rubber tube. You can see it looks like a finger of a glove. And what happens is once the temperature is increasing, once the pressure is increasing, the pressure will basically compensate or compress this rubber finger and therefore we have a different volume and therefore the pressure is by far not increasing as much as before. Deepcool has a patent on this, so I think we will only see this in Deepcool AIOs. I also asked Deepcool if they're planning to bring this to custom loop because I can think that they could adopt this principle to, I don't know, a reservoir which we could use in an open water cooling loop. And they're thinking about it, they're uh, looking into it and maybe we can see more of this in the future. I think it's a very nice technology. Uh, it's very cool that there is still some kind of innovation in the AIO market. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye.